The road to the 2020 Kentucky Derby continues, and this time it's opening day at Oaklawn Park for the Smarty Jones Stakes. One mile, $150,000 the purse. Remember, hit subscribe and smash that like button as we take a look at this field. Starting off at the rail, we have a son of congrats, and Mason Ingrid sends out this shipper. And in this race, we have shippers from Churchill Downs, Laurel, Remington, and the fairgrounds highlighting just some of the depth and the probable race favorite comes in from New York. Now, Lycan picked up a victory just one time in seven starts. That was three races back, a four-length win at Keeneland, and then faded late in the last race at Churchill Downs. Draws inside. Terry Thompson is the rider, and he does well at Oaklawn Park. And remember, the one-mile distance at Oaklawn Park does favor some of those inside posts, especially on days when there's just a little bit of a track bias, it seems like those inside horses do well at Oaklawn Park. We'll see how the track plays on opening day here for 2020. Silver Prospect, an upset winner the last time for Steve Asmussen, picked up the victory at 8-1 to one over the big race favorite, Tis the Law. Tis the Law was favored in the Kentucky Jockey Club, and Silver Prospector weaved his way through horses and was able to get a clear trip on the outside while Tis the Law had a little bit of trouble in that race. Silver Prospect are going to probably be the second favorite this afternoon as you take a look at the Smarty Jones odds. Ricardo Santana in the saddle. And Steve Asmussen does well in the Oaklawn Stakes races. You know, a little bit of a turf pedigree, but that tap it on the mare's side does give him some stamina. And Silver Prospector continues to work well after that victory at Churchill Downs. Shared sense goes for Brad Cox. And the last time out, a second place finish. He's got two seconds and three lifetime starts. Godolphin owns this one. We'll see if uh, Shared Scent stays in the race, and he's going to be a little bit of an upset uh, choice facing other horses who have already won. He has run some good races. He did run against Lynn's Map. He did run against Silver Prospector. So company line-wise, he does fit, although he is still looking for that first win. Nucky was a long shot winner of the Del Mar Futurity, 35 to 1 that day, as a couple of horses had trouble and did not fire in the grade one race. Came back and lost by 38 lengths in the American Pharaoh Stakes, and then in the Hef Stakes at Laurel, he faded again in the lane. Hard to believe he's going to turn it around here at Oaklawn Park. He does get Smokin' Joe Talamo in the saddle, and Nucky, a son of Ghost Sapper, out of a rock hard 10 mare, should be. Uh, able to handle the distance it just seems like he's going off form and his two big victories 35 to 1 and then at 3 to 5 on the dollar we'll see if he fits with this class level jungle runner another asmussen trained runner ran in the springboard mile in his most recent start was 20 to 1 that day against shoplifted had a little bit of a troubled trip on the turn was kind of pinched then had to go wide as he made a mid-race move and it looks like shoplifted kind of got the advantage to him early in that race and was able to secure a good trip jungle runner probably better than his most recent race and at long odds is definitely one you might want to consider here in the smarty jones gold street a 93 brisnet speed figure and before that a 90 brisnet speed figure he's the speed of the speed he's another steve asmussen train runner He's going to try to stretch out to that one-mile distance with Marty Garcia in the saddle. And Street Boss is the sire of Gold Street. He won by seven. He won by three links. He uh, definitely has the, the speed to establish position. And if Nucky doesn't go with him early, Gold Street could sit here in a good spot, although he should get some pressure from Lynn's map and possibly Silver Prospector by that six furlong mark. So Gold Street has some speed, and if he can stretch it out to a mile, he'll be strong here with those fast Brisnet speed figures. Shoplifted, disappointed in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile. He was bet down a little bit in the American Pharaoh Stakes, ended up finishing fifth that day. That was when the track was playing really slow and sandy at Santa Anita. Then just did not run in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile. And really, with the, the favorite Dennis Moment having a rough trip that day, and a couple of other horses not firing, like eight rings backing out of it on the turn, you expected horses like Shoplifted and Scabbard to maybe make a run, but they did not do that. Shoplifted did win his most recent start on the class drop in the springboard mile. He was 4-1, to one, came from off the pace, and the speed figure from Brisnet came back in 93. Uh, before that, he'd run an 86, an 84, and an 87, so he was eligible to improve a little bit, 
He's been working out since that victory. Into mischief is the sire. Yes, it's true. Is a horse that was trained by D. Wayne Lucas. Beat the uh, easy goer in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile a long time back. And that was on a sloppy surface. So he's got a little bit of slop breeding. Shop lifted in form. And he definitely fits at this class level. Lynn's map opted out of the Lecomte stakes. He drew the 14th post position and then scratched on Saturday. He's entered here post position 8 at Oaklawn Park. Should love the distance, and I love the way he dueled and came on late against Mr. Monomoy in the allowance non-winners of two. Fractions were a little bit slow that day, but he did make up some ground. He should like the sloppy surface if the track does come up sloppy. But Lynn's map, he's showing a little bit of class, a little bit of grit. We'll see if he can step up here and face some other winners in this spot. Three Technique, your likely race favorite with Irad Ortiz. He picked up back-to-back -back wins in New York, Saratoga and Aqueduct. Started out with a couple of second-place finishes at Saratoga and Belmont. So he ships to Oakland, been training there for well over a month now. And Mr. Speaker is the sire of Three Technique, and Irad Ortiz has ridden him. And let's see here what happens. But, you know, I like that outside post. He comes a little bit off the pace, and there should be an honest pace here with horses like Gold Street and Nucky and possibly even a shared sense moving out of the gate and establishing position early. So three technique, he's going to have to either send at that half-mile mark or kind of lay back and try to secure that rail spot in this position. Who do you like in the Smarty Jones? Leave a comment below. Also, we've got recap videos coming up of the Silver Bullet Day and the Lecomte Stakes from Saturday and a Kentucky Derby update from last week of the Contenders if you want to take a look at that. Hit subscribe, like, or leave a comment. Who do you like in the Smarty Jones at Oaklawn Park as we race you to the 2020 Kentucky Derby?